Hi everyone, I have been away for a while working on various projects. Oh, here's Solstice coming into shot. Solstice! <laughs> um, I've been manifesting lots of stuff. I will come back and talk specifically about some of those once they're fully manifested. I don't like to talk about manifestations when they're partially in, um, but they're quite impressive and across all different aspects, like personal finances, things like that. And I think they will be inspiring. But one of the things I've been working on, as I'm sure some clients who've been following the channel for a while or having readings with me know, I've been working on a new tarot deck. You can see some of the sketches for the deck in the background of this room. This is the finished product. Uh, I've got a solo exhibition on in London from the 30th of November until the 15th of February. For those of you that don't know, I also work as an artist with an emphasis on spirituality in my practice. Um, so the, the exhibition is going to be on for that long. There'll be the finished drawings, editions of the deck for sale, and then a really beautiful sculptural installation. I will put some images of the finished show on my community tab once the install shots are done. But this deck is being sold as an edition of 100, a limited dish edition of 100 signed copies and I want to make sure that it is available not just to people in the art world but to my clients to be used as a deck. Um, so I'm showing it first here on the channel before I put it on like my my art Instagram and stuff like that once the exhibition is open. So I know some of you are interested in the deck. In the description box of this uh, video on YouTube there will be all the details to contact the gallerist who's in charge of selling the deck. I'll show you guys the deck now, but yeah, you just need to email her, putting in the description of the e in the subject of the email, put what I wrote and just uh, tell her where you are because the VAT is only applicable to certain people and postage will be for different places. So the deck is a hundred pounds for each edition of a hundred and that doesn't include the VAT but not everyone will be paying the VAT. The VAT is 20% so for people I think in England it will be 120, other places you need to find that out. Each one is signed, this is my artist edition so oh, I don't know if I can show you, it's signed as an artist proof but it would be signed as an edition number. Inside is the booklet, now I wrote everything in the booklet as a ritual by hand and then scanned it in for each of the meanings of the cards. There are also like spells for each section of the deck. So the major arcana, there's also an extra a suit in my card called the etheric cards. Ether is the fifth element in alchemy. This is an etheric tarot deck. So the fifth element in alchemy, you can see all of the four elements here, water, earth, wind, and fire. And then the fifth element is there. So the fifth element of this deck is the etheric cards. We have the major arcana, then we have the usual four elements. Um, but yeah, there's an incantation to say over each section of the deck. All of the writing was done by hand as a channeled ritual for the meanings of the cards. And then the major arcana, my father, who's a Jungian psychoanalyst, did a Jungian take uh, using alchemy on the major arcana cards very similar to my last deck which some of you may have had used by me in a reading which wasn't available really to the public it was a very short small edition run so i wanted to do this as a bigger run cheaper as cheap as we could do it, it actually cost quite a lot to print because it's very good quality for those who are into like card stock it's 400 gsm i think it is calder satin card so it's really nice and thick those are the backs of the cards. Um, that's the back of the deck. It's very beautiful, I think, if I say so myself. Um, but yeah, so I made it as cheap as possible so that people could buy it. But it is a very beautiful thing and it is an artwork as well as a deck. It's bigger than a normal tarot deck as well. Maybe almost in between like an oracle card and a tarot card. I'll show you some of the cards maybe the light is a bit weird can you see that's the full card i'll show you some of the extra cards i'll just show you a few of the cards priestess high priestess empress it's pretty beautiful emperor i don't want to give it all away <laughs> hierophant 
the lovers. Oh yeah, the other thing is, it's all based on real people. Either people I know, friends, lovers, strangers, but all real people. Let me show you some of the extra cards, the etheric cards. So that's Melusina, who's a mermaid. Sorry for Solstice in the background. Oh yeah, I dedicated the deck to Solstice, by the way. And my other familiar, Rubicon, who was a canary who died. That's the false prophet. That's the familiar card. That was Rubicon, my canary. Hope you can see these clearly, but I'll put some pictures in the community tab. Witch's bottle, coven, the healer, which is like the female magician. And then the phoenix. And I try to make it represent like all different people, um, love in all its various forms. So that's a, a friend, like two of my friends who got engaged. And then there's a lesbian couple in the background as well for the 10 of cups, stuff like that. So it's a very friendly deck. It includes everyone. I think it's pretty beautiful. It has extra cards. So there are actually 86 cards rather than 78. Very good quality card stock. That's the strength card, which I think is really good. And yeah, there are a hundred decks available. It's a limited edition. So I may do a second edition once the first edition's sold out, but it would be different. The first edition will be very special. Um, this ooh, sorry. I hope you want the savory as a healthy, the quick alternative. Oh, I hate it when the ads pop up. This, the first edition will be very special, obviously. Um, and I don't think, yeah, the only place you can get it is through the gallerist. I won't be putting this on my Etsy. So I'll put all the details below. I just wanted to get a card. If you're interested, that's the only way to get it. So just go directly to her and ask her to sort it out for you. This is the deck, the, bu the box. <laughs> I'm a bit out of practice of doing videos. Okay, let's get a card. It, it shuffles really nicely as well. What is it that we need to hear today? Ten of Wands. So there may be a bit of a heavy burden. This is, I actually think this is such a beautiful card. There may be some kind of heavy burden that needs to be released in the collective. I mean, I'm pretty exhausted, so it may be picking up on my energy. I've been working really hard on this show. Strength card is saying, you know, there's gonna be overcoming any difficulties coming out of a period of maybe shadow or overcoming any obstacles. So that's a really good energy to come out. And one final card, please, look at Solstice in the background. Oh, great, that's the one that was on the deck, uh, on the box, I saw that flip over. Healer, this is about like, you, maybe you are a healer yourself, maybe you're in need of healing. Oh, that's much better light. Sorry, it's very dark when I'm doing this. Maybe you're in need of healing. It's a feminine healing principle. And unlike the magician, this version of the healer, because there is the magician in this deck as well. He's a bit mercurial. You never know with the magician if his intent is purely good. But the healer card, it's all about like healing the collective, healing the self and unconditional love flowing and attuning. And that is based on a friend of mine who is a sound healer. So yeah, that is the deck. Sorry that it's not the best light. Oh, I love the Seven of Swords as well. I mean, it's my least favorite card, but I think I did it really well. Oh, my parents are the King and Queen of Wands. And my father wrote the uh, Major Arcana section. He's very mystical and trained in Jungian psychoanalysis. So it's a very interesting take on that. I just think everything about it is quite beautiful. By the way, after I wrote this guide, I then burnt the original pages as part of a ritual. They're all different colors. So that's the deck. It's called the Etheric Tarot Deck. If you're interested, look in the description box. I'll probably make a bit of a better video <laughs> at a later date for like people in the art world. I'll put it on the YouTube as well. I just wanted to put something out quickly because I know some of you are interested. Also sending much love and light and energy to everyone. And it feels like if anyone is feeling some kind of heavy burden, overcoming that and then manifesting healing and alignment, probably a message for me because I'm worn down from the amount I've been working, but the show is looking really good. But also it could apply to the collective as well. So sending you all much love, light and positivity. And I'll be back at a later date to talk about some manifestations. As always, you can book on my Etsy if you need anything. Sending you all much love, light and positivity, positivity though. Take care.